Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to simplify the fourth root of 7x cubed divided by 4y squared by rationalizing the denominator. Now, before rationalizing the denominator, it's important for you to understand that the, the properties of radicals, doesn't matter if it's a square root or the fourth root, it, of a radical expression can be rewritten as the radical of a over b. So therefore, I can rewrite this as the fourth root of 7x cubed divided by the fourth root of 4y squared. All right. Now, it's very important for us to understand next is what, how do we simplify by, you know, how do we rationalize? Why does rationalize denominator work? And what we want to do is we want to multiply our denominator by a number that's going to get rid of our fourth root. So what we want to do is kind of look at, you know, when I had x times x, the square root, we could pull those together, right? We pulled them out. So the simpler way to write that is just x squared. The square root of x squared is just equal to x. The cube root of x cubed is just equal to x. The fourth root of x to the fourth is just equal to x. All right? So therefore, when I, if I want to get rid of the fourth root, I need to get, I need to take the fourth root of 4 to the fourth power and y to the fourth power. So therefore, the, the number that I'm going to multiply by is going to be 4 cubed times y to the second. Because remember, when you multiply numbers with powers, you add the powers, right? So this has a 1 up there. 1 plus 3 is 4. 2 plus 2 is 4. So therefore, I'll do the same up here. Um, now remember, this is 4 uh, cubed. Eh, let's just write up there. That's fine. All right, well, let's read, write that actually what it is. So 4 cubed is going to be 4 cubed is 4 times 4 is 16. Times 4 is going to be 64. All right. And then I have 64x y squared. OK, so now I'm going to multiply those on the top and the bottom. Now remember, this 4 times this 4 cubed, which is 64, is going to give me a fourth root of a number, which we need to go ahead and determine here. So now let's go and multiply the top here. Um, 7, I don't know that off the top of my head, so let's go and do some old mathematics here. 7 times 4 is 28. 7 times 6 is 42, plus 4 is 44. Whew. OK. Um, I do have my calculator. Sweet. So therefore, I have the fourth root of 448 times x cubed y squared. Now remember, I would have to have a, an x po a power to the fourth power to take the fourth root of it. These I do not have, so therefore, I can't simplify that any further. I'm going to double check on 444, though, in just a second. Um, then I'm going to divide by 4 times uh, 64 is going to be the fourth root of 128, which would be 256. So the fourth root of 256, and then y to the fourth. Okay. Now it's very important. The fourth root of 256, fourth root, that's a, um, a perfect fourth power number. That is, um, that is going to equal 4 times 4. That is equal to 4 multiply by itself four times. And just check your, just check your work here. I got a lovely calculator. Just do 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 equals 256. So the fourth root of 256 is just going to equal 4. And the fourth root of y to the fourth is just equal to y. Not y to the fourth, just equal to y. So you can see that by multiplying by that, certain, that value gives me numbers I can take the fourth root of. Because if I, if I just chose to multiply by the fourth root of 4, then I'd have the fourth root of 16, which you can actually take the fourth root of 16, which would be 2, which tells me that I am going to be simplifying this, um, which I should have, which I could have done. Hmm. OK. So let's go and do 448. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick cubed numbers. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is? 16. So I want to see, does 448 divide into 16? Or 16 divided into 448? And yes, it does. So therefore, I can break, I can actually simplify this into the fourth root of 16 times the fourth root of 28x cubed y squared. The fourth root of um, 16 is going to be 2. So therefore, really my answer is 2 times the, times the fourth root of 28 times x cubed y cubed. And then this obviously can be reduced down to 1 half. So my final answer is the fourth root of 28 x cubed y cubed divided by 2y. 
Okay. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you simplify a radical expression as by rationalizing the denominator with the fourth root. Thanks.